Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get ILO System Mechanic 15. Uh, System Mechanic is a software kind of like uh, Advanced System Care. It is a PC maintenance program. So once you go to the website, which I will provide a link in the description, come over here to Downloads, and then you're going to go to all downloads and you will see that you have system mechanic system mechanic pro system mechanic business and then you also have system shield antivirus and anti spyware so the one that we're going to go after right now is system mechanic I'll do one over the antivirus and anti spyware later and we'll also do one over the search and recover drive scrubber and a lot of the other software that ILO has but for now, we're going to grab the system mechanic. So you're going to click on the download now button. And once it takes you to the page for the download, just click on the big green download button. And if you're in Firefox, you're going to click save file. And uh, Internet Explorer will pretty well pop up the same thing. Or if you are in uh, Google Chrome, it'll give you a save as box. So once it's downloaded, you'll have this blue arrow up here in Firefox with Internet Explorer. You'll have it in a here and, and in Google Chrome, it'll pop up over here. So you click on the blue arrow, click on the file to run it. And when the user account control comes up, click yes. And as soon as the installer starts, you can close the browser the ILO installer is already downloaded system mechanic to the system and it says the system mechanic installation has been successfully downloaded all you have to download it, all you have to do is click yes to begin the actual install hit save now once the installer comes up click next click I accept agreement click next click install the free version of system mechanic if you actually have a key you can do the activation right here and go ahead and make it the pro version otherwise you're going to want to install for the free version to get the key for the free version you do need to put in your email so put your email in here and then they will email once you put in the email address and click next it'll come up and give you another screen that says activation email address and it'll give you the actual email for your, your email address that you used, you can verify if it's the correct one or not. Click next if it is. If not, click this is not the correct one. Go ahead and correct it and it'll send it to send the email to your email account. And then click next again. And you'll be on this screen. You can use typical settings, which is recommended or customize the installation. Just leave it on typical settings and click next. And now it installs the software. Alright, and once the installer finishes, you just leave that checked and click launch. By the time the installer finishes, you should have the email that actually has your activation key. Alright, and you can select, if you need the system mechanic tutorials, it teaches you how to do everything in the system mechanic. You can go through that, or you can hit don't show this again and hit skip this screen. Now once it comes up, one of the first things you want to do is actually go ahead and uh, put in your key. So to put in your key, the easiest way to do it is it says free version right here. You click here, go to enter key. Once you put in the key, click OK and it'll actually go in and apply the key for the free version that you have which will actually have it registered in the free version to you which is not a bad thing at all now the pro version does cover a lot of things and it does also do a lot of crap automated it is worth purchasing if you do want the pro version now once you have it installed you can see over here on the left hand side you have dashboard 
which if you expand it you have overview and problems you have the active care which will give you your automated tasks as you can tell by clicking on it all the automation requires the pro version so that's one really good reason to upgrade is because you can automate a lot of the stuff but that's not the only reason to upgrade and then you have live boost which all of the live boost you see how it has the red X in here all of that stuff the real-time boosting and everything requires the pro version you can see what your actual status is but you can't do anything with it to run it or anything else because you have to have the pro version for live boost you see the internet security here you have anti-malware and then firewall this gives you the ability to go in and view and turn off your different monitoring stuff like that you can see what's actually being monitored So you can see right here it says system mechanic detects the anti-malware program is installed and running same with firewall your toolbox you have all-in-one tools there's PC accelerator PC repair PC cleanup there's your total registry revitalizer and then of course you can look at your reports so we're gonna go to the dashboard and go to overview and then we're going to go ahead and tell it to perform a deep analysis. Alright, and once it's finished it will come back and give you what it's found. It says system status is fair. Four problems are lowering your system's overall status. Four recommendations are also available for your review. So you can actually click view problems. And here's everything that it found. Your computer has 166.09 meg of system clutter. Your computer has 71 registry problems. Your computer has one unnecessary startup item. The registry has never been backed up. And then we come to the six recommendations, which is your computer has two potentially unwanted startup programs. Your internet configuration is not optimized for maximum speed. Your optic core is disabled. Ramjet is disabled. Power sense is disabled. And the accelerate right is disabled. So you can go and select a lot of different things, but a lot of the deals that it's wanting me to do to uh basically optimize the system a little better you have to have the pro version for and you don't necessarily have to do those but if you want the full benefit of the program you may want to go ahead and upgrade other than that you can just select on the four problems right here here and then click repair all and click yes then it'll go through and clean the registry and do all the other stuff now if you have the pro version installed you could actually go through and do all the other uh, modifications like the six recommendations down here to where it gets rid of the two potentially unwanted startup programs and things like that so there's a lot more that the pro version goes into detail on after you get done it's going to want you to do a restart so you can reboot the system let everything all the changes it made take full effect pretty decent program much much more worth it to actually buy the paid version than to run with the free one the free version is pretty limited use so definitely recommend the pro version if you're looking for a free program that does a lot of the modifications and stuff this one's not quite going to be up your alley but for the price system mechanic is well worth it it's not very expensive at all it's very very affordable and it works really well this information is out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share
Have yourselves a great day.